Hi guys, today I'd like to show you our newest update of Expert GIF. The UI became better, it's now online and we added a button to quickly open your recent render. You can also export MP4 and it works in previous version of After Effects where MP4 is unavailable. Let's go to settings. We got a bunch of different options to customize the quality and size of your GIF. You can read about each of them if you hover over with your mouse. You get more flexible settings for render output. Now you can customize if you need best settings, draft settings, which presets you need. You can create your own. And if you need more information you can click here and jump to the article and read more about how you can create your own. Next you got a shortcut. Now you can set up a custom shortcut. It will export GIV and you don't need to open the UI at all. So if you set a shortcut, you can close the script altogether and just use shortcut. It's easy to set up, you can hit custom, enter your shortcut like this, press OK, and that's it. If you need to remove it, press no shortcut. Next, ask to trim. It's a flexible option that will ask if you want to trim your file if it's longer than let's say 10 seconds. Sometimes you might need that long file, but on most cases you don't need it. It's just because you might forgot to trim the work area and this is how it works. If I press export, it will tell me that my composition is 14 seconds long. And where do I want to trim it? Let's say 5 seconds. Let's test our newest button. It just opens the latest GIF file. There are a few other options. You can customize your name and you can read more about it here. The name can be the dynamic generated and you can use all of these variables to create a name the same those folders. You can dynamically adjust the naming of the folders dynamically create them. Let's say you want to do dailies and it will create a folder structure like this. Or if your organization has a strict folder structure, you can set it up to work with your folder structure. One last powerful option is use the script with different settings by holding modifiers. Let's say sometimes you need a GIF with low quality more fast and sometimes you need a production GIF and you don't want to switch settings each time. So let's say if you press Alt, you can adjust settings to low. I already adjusted them, so let's say color 64 you might adjust it even lower. You can choose a different render template and so on. Now if you press Alt and Expert, GIF it will use those settings. But if you don't hold Alt it will use regular settings like this like full colors and so on. In that case you can create different modifiers and different settings for your use case. It is very flexible. You can hover over and read more about it here. You can combine those modifiers and so on. Hopefully it is useful for you guys. Again, this script is still free now upgrades and no payments, and I'll probably link to the previous video where I explained the basics and other features. In this video, we only covered what's new. Thank you for your feedback and let me know if you'd like us to add anything else. Thanks for watching.